Hey guys, so I decided to, well, since I was already sitting here doing the ink journal, why is it not focusing? Is it me? Okay. So since I was already sitting here doing my uh, ink journal video, I figured I might as well knock the rest of these out since, you know, I had good lighting or whatever, or questionable lighting, but passable. So I'm gonna do this real quick because as we have already established, I can get long-winded. Oh jeez. I'm gonna start with the brand that I clearly have the most of, and that would be Twisby. I've had these for years. I've been buying Twisby pens for about three to four years. I have gone through a lot of the Twisby Echo pens, not because they're bad quality or because they break, because as a matter of fact, not a single one of mine has ever cracked or broken. Not a single one. And I disassemble these puppies all the time with every single wash um, because I like to get all the way well this one clearly hasn't been washed <laughs> but i like to get all the way in here to get all the remnants of ink and um i've never had a single one of them crack even though i know that in on reddit on the fountain pen um sub community that's a, that's a thing like that's a very valid thing that keeps popping up like twisby pens breaking but mine no mine are fine Never had an issue. So these are all Twisby Echoes. They go anywhere between an extra fine and a, and a medium. Um, those were my preference when I first started. I was big into the extra fine and fine, and then slowly I started my way, started making my way into the mediums, and now I'm like, give me all the mediums and higher. I don't know, would that be considered higher when you go up in, in nib size? Yeah, huh? Um, I have the 580. Uh, kind of hate it <laughs> for various reasons and I kind of like it for others which is it's a complicated relationship Twisby goes are oh that's a loud truck this is a fine I love it this is a stub 1.1 nib and I adore it it is oh, not going to focus on me because It's so smooth. You can walk normally, it's fine. <laughs> um, it writes very, very smoothly, even for a stub nib, which are, have a propensity to be a little scratchy. This is a dream. This is, if you want a cheap, solid stub nib, this, this is a dream. Fantastic pen. This I made the mistake of ordering in an extra fine. Don't know what the hell I was thinking um, because it was scratchy as all hell and the only way to get uh, the nib like I would have to order an, another nib this is like a $70 pen as it is <laughs> okay and the nib unit is $25 I was not gonna pay 100 bucks for this but um, not for another nib which Twisby mentioned might still be scratchy even in a higher or a, a wider nib simply because of the maker of the nibs with this which is a I don't know how to pronounce it Yobo I think it's what they are the brand um so no I wasn't gonna go that route um this is actually a 5.5 flex nib from Fountain Pen Revolution that I just got on a whim I don't recommend it to be perfectly honest with you I should have gone a ultra flex nib and there there's something I can do to the nib that came with your the original nib of this pen there's something I can do to it to make it softer not so scratchy I just don't I haven't committed to doing it yet I'll explain it when I get to another pen but that's I'm just saying um, I have a couple of the uh, Caveco ice well this is the ice and this is like a regular sport um this is a broad nib this is a fine nib i love these they're super freaking cute this broad nib is also very very nice i i do like it a lot i i've used this one a lot as a matter of fact it does um shimmer inks beautifully like 
never had an issue with the feet or the nip getting all gunky or, or anything. Never had a single issue. Good pen for shimmerings. I have two Jin Hao pens. This is a 51A. It's a fine nib. It's a hooded fine nib. Perfectly fine pen. It's cheap. Like, is it like $7 or something? Maybe less than that on Kool-Aid pens. And I love it. I swear to God, it writes so nicely and so smoothly and it's not scratchy at all. Good pen. Uh, this is an X750. And no, it does not have the original nib. I was having some issues with ink flow with that nib. When it wrote, it wrote nicely. It just, it wasn't performing the way I wanted it to. So I bought a uh, Goulet Pens number six stub nib and it's awesome. I love it. It's great. Works fine. These two are Oh my god, I love these pens so much, you guys. You know that. I have already raved about these. Uh, these are the Pen BBS 456 pens. The vac fill ones. Um, that is not ink, by the way. That is the acrylic. It's actually not even ink. I just washed this. Um, this particular pen wrote like a freaking dream. This is the reason I bought um, a particular ink. And oh, I love this pen. Totally worth it. And uh, the wait was only like seven days from China to the West Coast. I think I've said that like 10,000 times, by the way. This was my second purchase from them. This is in Gloom. Um, I got it probably about a week and a half ago. And we had issues. This pen and I, we had issues. The nib is supposed to be the same size as the green, uh, the green one, which I think the model name is Aurora, but I can't pronounce that very well in English. So whatever. Um, this was super scratchy, super freaking scratchy. And I was very, very disappointed because the green one was so smooth and is the same size nib and I didn't know what to do. So, I ordered something from Goulet Pens, and it's Mylar, Mylar paper. It's actually a much, much gentler form of abrasive to smooth out nibs like you would with um, micro mesh. And I watched a ton of videos on this, by the way. Um, so I use these to smooth out this nib so now it writes like this. And I am incredibly happy. I have thought about using micro mesh on the original nib on this sucker, but then I don't want to avoid the warranty of uh, the nib in case it doesn't work. But then it, even if it doesn't work, I'm gonna end up replacing the nib anyway. So I haven't decided yet. I'm not fully committed to doing that to the f extra fine nib in this one, the original one, but we'll see. It might happen. Um, I have a Conklin Durograph. You guys saw me hold this. Me and Ben, giant nib. It's just a pen. It, it really is just a pen. There's nothing particularly special about it other than it's pretty. There's, it's just a pen. This is the Diplomat Magnum Broad Nib. It is a, gu oh my God. It's, it gushes ink. This was like a serious mistake. <laughs> like I should have bought a medium size because this is ridiculous. Even now, let me see if I can get it to focus. I have it inked with nitrogen, a sample of nitrogen, um, not nitrogen, I'm sorry, Organic Studios Unicorn Blood. And you can see that this shimmer and that pen has basic, uh, the shimmer of the ink has basically pulled away from the ink and is all over the feed and the grip. It's just, it's a hot mess because it just spews. <laughs> That's pleasant um, ink. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know if there's a way to get a replacement nib for like a medium maybe, but I wish I had known better. Uh, this, I bought 
this years ago and I got it mainly because it has a black nib and I happen to really like black nibs I think it's an extra fine it's a perfectly good pen no joke I mean it doesn't look fancy or anything this is an online uh, switch plus it's a great pen it's a great it writes very very smoothly it's not scratchy at all so I like that one oh this is my favorite probably in the top two favorite stub nibs right now and this is the uh, Rotring Rotring sorry my Costa Rican makes my R's roll different than most people <laughs> um, Rotring art pen it comes with cartridges but you can also buy a converter although I don't know if I want to go that route because I really enjoy the black ink in this pen which is crazy because I hate I hate cartridges but the black ink in this one it gets me these are pens that I don't actually use this is a pilot pedit oh I wonder if that ink other oh yeah okay no maybe not I don't know I haven't used this is it even still good I haven't used this pen in forever to be honest I think it's an extra fine maybe a fine I don't know eh it's forgettable obviously this is a pilot um kakuno pen i it's super super extra fine and it's scratchy and i don't have a converter for it i only have purple car purple ink cartridges it doesn't get used this pen this pen is a pain <laughs> i do enjoy it because it's a fun pen this is the uh, Noodler's Conrad Flex. Again, giant nib. I get a kick out of big nibs. I don't know why. It's a flex nib. It's um, one of those where I have to find the sweet spot to be able to write with it. So the sweet, the sweet spot when like where the, the nib and the feed sit within the section um, the sweet spot where you know where it pertains to um, like my my the, the the angle that I hold it in um, the paper everything um, how much flex I put into it I've had to heat set the ebonite feed I don't even know how many times I've, I've even had to put a strip of tape over the the top of the nib across the nib um, to help with tension I mean it's a finicky ass pen, but I enjoy using it. In fact, I used to think, oh my God, it's kind of scratchy. And then we keep going back to this sucker. And then I try the Fountain Pen Revolution Flex Nib and no, this is scratchy as hell. This is serious ASMR kind of thing. This is nothing compared to that. I love this pen, will I buy more? No, hell no. I don't know why I have a dip pen, you guys. I don't. Um, these are my random pens in the order as, as such, I guess. <laughs> this is a Muji pen. I just bought it because it was there. Because it was cheap, it was like five bucks. And I was like, eh, let's try it. It's super wet. Super wet. <laughs> and um, it came with ink cartridges. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because I don't see myself using it. I know. I know. People either love this pen or people hate this pen. I am in the school of I hate this pen because I hate this pen. <laughs> I don't like that. It's so dirty. I'm sorry. I have to wash it. I don't like the nib. I don't like the grip. I just don't like it. There's something about this pen that irks me, which is interesting considering that when I got back to, into fountain pens, when I, like I said, three, four years ago, this was the first pen I bought. And I hate it so much that I'm giving it away to a friend. Yeah. Speaking of hated pens, <gasps> Moonman S3, this was a giant waste. It's literally falling apart. And I've inked it twice. Um, as you screw it in, parts of the feet have actually started to come off. Which... <laughs> and 
is very interesting because as I said, I made it twice. There's no reason for it to be falling apart on me at all. Do I care? Uh, not that much, it's a $20 pen. It's, you know, it is what it is. It's pretty, but it's crap. We are gonna do a whole video on this pen right here. Okay, we are. I, I'm giving you advance warning. This is a fountain pen revolution Himalaya with a 1.0 stub nib. The amount of issues I've had with this pen is ridiculous and I will touch on those when I do the video. I am waiting for replacement parts from Kevin at Fountain Pen Revolution to see if we can address the issues that I'm having with this pen. Suffice it to say, it better work. And lastly, my beautiful, beautiful Pelican N200. This was part of a set and my battery is low. What? Oh, this was part of a set. It came with this ink. Uh, Pelican Edelstein. I don't know. Is it Edelstein or Edelstein? Or I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, Smoky Quartz is the name of the ink and of the pen. And it was the color of the year, I think last year, maybe? Possibly? And I've been eyeing it forever. And oh, and I got gloom thinking. Pretty dang close, right? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> that is a difference. And this is a much warmer pink. This is more not pink. Why would I say pink? <laughs> a much warmer brown. Um this is a steel nib. Gold coated steel nib. I love it. <laughs> and it pains me to say that. I love it. I love the pen. Sorry, my phone is buzzing. I love this pen. I love this ink. I love them together. I die for these. And the problem is, is that they're releasing a new one and it's the color of the year. It's uh, ruby red. And instead of it being an M200, it's an M205 pen. And I am pretty sure I'm gonna get it, even though it's probably gonna cost me about $180. 160, 170, something like that. But I want to buy it because I love this pen so much. It's a fine nib, by the way. Um, according to Reddit, you can either go, like the fine nib was the great nib, the medium nib, not so much. So this is, as of right now, my most favorite pen at the moment. Followed very closely by, where'd you go? By the pen BBS. Which, how do you go from a $100 pen to a $35 pen? Go figure. But these are, seriously you guys, invest in one of these. Not even invest, they're cheap. Try them. They're oh, so good. So anyways, um, yeah, that's my fountain pen collection. It's not impressive. It's not excessive. Um, I mean, <laughs> not to somebody who likes fountain pens. Um, it's minimal. It's simple. I'm a simple girl. My nib choices are changing. Um, I'm definitely more into the medium broad stub nib flex nib sizes right now the extra fine and the fine are kind of like mm, yeah so anyways uh if you have any pen recommendations any pen i should be looking at or if you have any questions uh let me know and oh my god it's so pretty and it writes so nicely you guys okay i gotta stop anyways <laughs> um let me go charge my battery so i can film yet another video and I will talk to you guys later.